Hello Pisces, Sun Moon Rising, and Venus, and welcome to another reading. Let's see the overall energy between you and the person you're connecting with or will be connecting with. We have give your relationship a chance, work on your partnership. For me as a reader, give your relationship a chance is very similar to like the four of wands in the reverse. So you could be connecting with an Aries specifically, it doesn't necessarily have to be the case. But the four of wands, it basically speaks of instability. Um, so we'll see why you're getting this card, Pisces, and how it resonates with your reading for today. Keep in mind though, time is fluid. So for some of you, you're currently experiencing this, and well, for others of you, you might find yourself experiencing this at a later date. But let's focus on you first, and then we'll jump over to your person. How does Pisces currently view this relationship? We have the Tower. We also have the Hangman with the Queen of Swords. This is interesting because I feel like you're witnessing something fall apart. And it could even be the relationship that you currently find yourself in. But I feel like you're witnessing something uh, falling apart here and you're not doing anything about it. it it's kind of like you're allowing things to essentially fall apart, sort of speak, which is kind of interesting, my friend. Like, that's like the first time I ever got that for somebody. Let's focus on this person. How does this person currently view this relationship we have the five of wands we got the uh three of cups and then we have the eight of swords here interesting all right when it comes down to how this person is currently viewing this relationship this is interesting because i feel like I feel like this person in particular is kind of gravitating towards like close family members and or friends when it comes down to like what's currently transpiring here within like the relationship that you guys share with one another i do kind of feel like this person is extremely stressed out i also kind of feel like this person finds themselves in a situation that uh, they don't necessarily know how to even approach the situation how to resolve it how to improve it how to even like honestly fix it to be completely honest and like I said, I feel like this person's gravitating towards like close family members and friends, like confiding in them uh, when it comes down to like everything that they're kind of experiencing within this relationship that they share with you. But one thing that I am kind of getting primarily off of this person um, is somebody who currently feels like they don't know what the heck to do in this situation. Like this person finds themselves at a complete and utter loss. Hence why they're venting um, to, to close family members and friends. They could even be seeking like outside advice. But I gotta be honest, Pisces, like I, I feel like this this frustration that this person's currently experiencing within this relationship that they share with you does kind of have a lot to do with you you know and how you're kind of handling this entire situation here between you and them like this is kind of like the true epitome of like screw it whatever happens happens if it falls apart it falls apart if it doesn't well then i guess it doesn't but i i, I gotta be honest i don't i don't feel like you're really doing anything to like how can i say this make the situation better i would say between you and this person i'm just being honest this morning i'm just being honest um i really want to break this person down a little bit more um wait a minute tell me tell me more about the eight of swords yeah we have the ten of swords we got the nine of pentacles to the two of wands to the knight of pentacles see this is kind of like an overall energy them essentially feeling like it's just not working out right between you and them and i kind of feel like this person is trying to figure out like what their next step is going to be because it's pretty evident that this whole situation between you and them is just clearly not working out so this is them really trying to figure out okay like what's my next move going to be because they they know that this relationship coming to an end it's going to affect them greatly so it's kind of like an overall energy of like I really need to figure out what I'm going to do next uh, so that way I'm not that affected by whatever happens here. Um, someone else had a similar message to this too. I just don't remember who it was. I want to look at this tower on your end, Pisces. I feel like you're allowing your relationship between you and this person to fall apart. Like this is kind of like the true epitome of me like throwing your hands up like whatever happens happens. It is what it is. I'm not going to fight for this. I'm not going to do anything about it. Tell me more about the tower. I'm just being honest. Don't get mad at me. Okay. 
I want to see what you're allowing to fall apart. Nothing wanted to come out. But at the bottom of the deck, we do have the four of wands. I feel like you're allowing your relationship between you and this person to fall apart. You're not putting up a fight. You're not trying to make this whole entire situation work out between you and this person. It's just like the epitome of like throwing your hands up like, yo, whatever happens, happens. If it falls apart, it falls apart. But um, I'm not going to lift a finger to try to fix anything here. That's kind of how you're looking at this whole entire situation. So yeah, and I was kind of getting that would give your relationship a chance. It's very similar to like the four of wands in the reverse, which does speak of, you know, instability, something falling apart. Um, your relationship is falling apart with this person, and you know that. With the hangman to the queen of swords, you know that, but you're not doing anything about it. How does this person currently feel? We have the Queen of Wands, we have the Five of Cups, and then we also have the uh, Four of Swords. At the bottom of the deck, we do have the uh, Eight of Cups, we also have the Three of Pentacles, and then we also have the Ten of Swords. So when it comes down to how this person's currently feeling about this relationship, again, according to them, I'm not saying that this is how you feel and that's the case, but we're going based off of according to them and how they're feeling about this whole entire situation, okay? According to this person in particular, they kind of feel like you can honestly care less about this dynamic that you guys share with one another, to be completely honest, because of, you know, the, the way that you're kind of handling this whole entire situation. I feel like this person, what they want, Issa wants, what they want from you is to basically fight for this relationship between you and them. That's what this person wants from you, but the truth of the matter is, is that they're not getting that from you. Like they can sit here and want all of these things and expect all of these things from you, but the truth of the matter is, is that they're not receiving that from you, which is naturally causing this person to essentially feel like you honestly don't really care to come together and work things out with them. You honestly don't care. That's how they're looking at the situation. I'm not saying that you don't care. What I am saying is, is that you are witnessing, you know, your relationship fall apart and you're not doing anything about it because that's just the cards that you're, you know, you're coming out with. But whether or not you care, I don't know. But according to them anyways, they kind of feel like you don't care. And on top of that, they want you to fight for this they want you to do something you know on your end to basically show them that you actually care but it is kind of causing them to essentially feel like because you're not doing all of those things you don't care and i feel like this person as sad as it might sound they're, they're really forcing themselves to just accept that reality that you don't really care about them or this relationship and that's like um how do i say this that's a that's a very hard pill for this person to swallow. That's that's one thing I will say. How does Pisces currently feel? We have the, not the Queen of Pentacles. We have the King of Pentacles. We also have the Sun. And then we have the Ten of Cups at the bottom of the deck. We have the King of Wands. We have the Justice card. Then we have the uh, Knight of Wands. And then we also have the Seven of Swords. So true pair situation going on here um, between you and this person. Um, when it comes down to how you're currently feeling about this relationship, it, it appears to me that you have a very difficult time taking this person seriously. For whatever reason you do, and I'm sure for some of you, you have your reasons, you know, as to why you feel like you can't take this person seriously. Um, and that could have, you know, a lot to do with like your overall history with this person. You know what I mean? But yeah, it just kind of looks like you're having a very difficult time taking this person seriously. And with the seven, the seven of swords being out here, I mean, seven of swords speaks of deception. Um, it could also be viewed as lies. Like, you know, I just kind of feel like for some of you, there is that like taste of like lack of trust too, uh, that you, you, yeah, I would say that I would say it's kind of like a lack of trust too. You may not fully trust this person. Moral of the story is, is that you're looking at your current relationship, kind of coming to terms with the fact that, wait a minute, this is not what I want for myself, um, because of X, Y, and Z insert here what that is and it is even furthermore causing you to essentially feel like 
this relationship is just simply not worth fighting for because you do come off to me as somebody who knows what it is that they want, you know? King of Pentacles, man, that's a really good card to honestly come out with, with the King of Pentacles coming out here. King of Pentacles is somebody who's mature. King of Pentacles is somebody who's very big on loyalty, um, also very big on commitment. I just feel like you have this idea of, like, what it is that you want within a person and just does not match up with what you have. Does that make sense? Hopefully it does. You know, it's early and I still have, like more coffee than I need to drink but you know what I mean like I just feel like what you want goes against what you currently have you know with this person in particular and that's something that you are realizing there's a lot of things that you want for yourself there's a lot of things that you're looking for within a person and I guess what it is that you currently have just doesn't match with what it is that you're looking for what actions the Pisces take towards this person are moving forward we have the um Ten of Swords. We also have the Nine of Swords. And then we got the Ten of Pentacles. At the bottom of the deck, we do have the Ace of Pentacles. And then we also have the Hierophant with the Six of Wands. And then we also have the Knight of Swords. There was a card that fell. I want to grab it and I'll come right back. And then we have the Fool. All right. Not bad. Let me look at this person. What actions will this person take towards Pisces? I'm moving forward. We have the Seven of Pentacles, yikes, with the Devil, and then we also have the Eight of Pentacles. Mm-hmm. Mm. Let's focus on this person and then we'll jump over. No, let me focus on you first so that way everything flows. Basically, in a nutshell, you're not fighting for this relationship because you're starting to kind of realize that this person in particular doesn't necessarily have what it is that you're seeking for within a person. You have a rough idea of what you're looking for, um, and it just... This person is just not cutting it. More of the story. With the full to the Ten of Swords to the Nine of Swords being out here, I mean, this is like the true epitome of somebody who has like a massive fear of like officially letting this go. Um, you do have a massive fear when it comes down to officially letting this go, but I feel like that does have a lot to do with you not knowing what to anticipate and or expect. Like, what is your life going to be like without this person? How is this whole entire situation going to affect you? You know what I mean? Because it's not like you don't care about this person. I feel like you do care about this person, and I also kind of feel like once you pull the plug on this relationship, it is naturally going to be an adjustment that you're going to have to essentially make. But this fear that you have as far as letting this relationship go um, is definitely affecting you when it comes down to like officially removing yourself from the situation here. But eventually, I actually kind of see you doing it, Pisces. I actually kind of see you eventually letting this whole entire relationship go. And I kind of feel like for the most part, you're going to essentially get what it is that you essentially want in the end. I mean, with the Ace of Pentacles to the Hierophant to the Six of Wands to the Knight of Swords coming out here for you, I feel like things are going to start to, for one, fall into place within your own personal life. And then, well, for two, I also kind of see you essentially meeting somebody at some point. Um, now, I also kind of feel like... I also kind of feel like what really kind of worries you as far as like officially letting go is well what if what is my life going to look like after this you know like am I gonna honestly find that perfect person for me you know things of that nature and I feel like eventually you will find that person now I'm not entirely sure when you're gonna end up meeting that person but eventually you will meet somebody who basically has a lot that you're basically looking for within a person I do kind of feel like this person's gonna enter your life unexpectedly so that could be like in a period where you're just kind of focusing on yourself not necessarily a relationship and then boom they kind of show up here for you um so if that's what you're worried about it kind of looks like at the end of the day things are going to play out in your favor you know as far as like well what is my life going to look like once i you know let this all go i, I think it's going to look wonderful to be completely honest and then with the hair font being out here as well it does speak of commitment you know it does basically kind of more so lean towards that king of pentacles like energy basically what it is that you want and what is that you're looking for within a person you know somebody who's very big on commitment and loyalty uh somebody who basically you know is ready to kind of settle down and ready to basically build a family that's what's heading in your direction but you can't hold on to the things that don't necessarily provide that to you or give you that you know what i mean so it does kind of require you to let go and have faith that everything's going to work out in your favor and you'll see that it will but you're not going to be able to see that by 
holding on to this person, holding on to this relationship for dear life because, well, I don't know what's going to happen next, you know? Like, what if I don't find someone else after this, you know? I, I, I kind of feel like you're worried about all the wrong things, to be completely honest. I kind of feel like right now, your main focus should be removing yourself from a situation that's not serving your highest good anymore. Like I said, you have a rough idea of what it is that you're looking for within a person anyways. So you're not the type that's just going to kind of settle down for whatever. Um, so with that being said, Pisces, you're just going to have to let go. You're just going to have to let go and not worry about well, what's going to happen next and am I going to really find that person for me you know I feel like you know eventually things will essentially fall into place in all different aspects of your life but that's what happens when you remove things that don't necessarily serve your highest good and make room for things that actually do now coming back to this person we have the eight of pentacles to the devil to the seven of pentacles this is somebody who has a lot of anger and a lot of resentment towards you I'm just going to be completely honest a lot of anger and a lot of resentment this person put a lot of time and energy into this relationship and the fact that it's not going the way that they want it to go is really pissing this person off it's really pissing this person off so then there's that you know what i mean but more of the story is is that this is about you and what you want for yourself you cannot possibly obtain you know this perfect person that you've essentially kind of created in your mind right and still hold on to this person that's not necessarily matching up with what it is that you want you're not going to ever get what you want by holding on to you know something that you don't necessarily want for yourself so it does kind of require you to let go it does require you to have faith it does require you to take a massive chance i understand you don't know what to anticipate and or expect after this but i can tell you this much that if you just honestly have faith um, that everything's going to work out in your favor, you'll start to see, you know, things fall into place for you, but you're going to have to pull the plug, man. If in all actuality, this is what you want, you know, somebody who's big on loyalty, somebody who's big on commitment, somebody who's ready to settle down. You know, I feel like a lot of you are dealing with somebody who may not even want those things with you. You know what I mean? And that in itself is just, a complete waste of time to continue to invest time and energy into somebody who doesn't necessarily want the same things that you want you're wasting your time you might as well let this go and and just simply hope that somebody you know better comes along which i do feel like somebody better is going to come along i'm not even worried about that to be completely honest but this one over here is going to have a lot of anger and resentment towards you um that's one thing that i will say and they might even express that to you codependency is very similar to the devil so this whole situation might lead to a big fight a big argument but at the end of the day this is your life you want what you want and you can't obtain what you want holding on to something that is it's it, it doesn't serve your highest good it's not giving you what it is that you want so you might as well just let it go as scary as that might be have faith that something better is going to come along because i actually kind of see that happening you know, I, I see that happening. So that's why I'm not really worried. Granted, like I said, it does kind of require you to have faith. But even then, look at that. We have very soon, we also have wedding and then we have retreats. Something's going to come in, like I said, unexpectedly. And it could have a lot to do with like, you know, the time that this person enters your life. You're not necessarily looking for anything serious. Um, so you could just find yourself kind of focusing more so on yourself versus like an actual relationship with someone. But it's going to come and it's going to enter your life. And I also kind of feel like this relationship in particular um, is going to grow pretty rapidly here between you and this person. I mean, we got the ace to the ten of pentacles to the hair of font. I mean, the ace to the ten of pentacles, I mean, that basically speaks of like a very fast growing connection between two people that could possibly even lead to marriage if that's what you want i mean somebody who is ready to basically settle down get married have a family all those things are going to be entering your life uh shortly after this ending here i almost want to say shortly after this ending it won't be too long that's one thing that i will say it won't be too long but this one over here yes they're gonna have a lot of anger and resentment towards you they might even express that to you but I don't feel like you're going to regret letting this person go. That's one thing that I will say. I don't feel like you're going to regret letting this person go, you know, especially because something 10 times better is coming along anyways, okay? So that's what I have for you, Pisces. Hopefully the reading helped. 
Um, also, too, for those of you who want to follow me on Instagram, my Instagram username is Milagros Tarot. No numbers, no underscores, no backup accounts. It's also linked in the description box down below. But yeah, that's what I have for you, and hopefully it helped, and I'll see you guys in your next reading. Bye.